Welcome to the Mary Group Productions on YouTube. In the following video clip, I'm going to talk about one of the research projects I've been working on in the Mary Group here at Texas Tech University, which is entitled Biology Induced Azurination of Amines with Phenyldesomethane. In a previous study, it has been shown that compound 1 and electron deficient ionic cyclophane can form a charge transfer complex with an electron-rich aromatic compound. Part of our interest were thus directed towards the possibility of cyclophane 1 being used as novel supermolecular catalyst in organic synthesis. Our efforts of exploring such systems began with the search of uh, appropriate electron-rich aromatic compounds as the substrates. We were pleased to notice that when cyclophane 1 was mixed with an electron-rich aerial imine such as compound 2A, a colored solution was formed. The coloration of the mixture of was indicative of the charge transfer process between the two components. Based on this fact, we proposed that this imine might be rendered more electron deficient, thus activated towards nucleophilic attacks. One of the precedent research related to our hypothesis would be the ionic liquid promoting the zeronation of imines with ethyl diazacetate. In that study, several imidazole and pyridinium based ionic liquids were found to be rather efficient. The stereochemistry outcome of the reaction turned out to be 2 3 cis selective regarding the azuridine products. These results were interpreted as the ionic liquids may function as Lewis acids in the reaction. However, substitute geometric amount of the ionic liquids were found to be much less effective in promoting the same reaction in organic solvents. We reason that one of the possibilities could be that the electron deficiency nature of the corresponding ionic liquids were relatively low compared with that of the common Lewis acids. Therefore, Cyclophane 1 might be a good alternative due to its increased electron deficiency and its ability of localization of the reacting center, so that a catalytic amount of 1 may be able to promote the reaction. Unfortunately, however, in the presence of 50 more percent cyclophane 1, the reaction between imine 2A and ethyl diazacetate only generated azuridines in negligible amounts. Then, we sought to use more reactive thiazo compound in the reaction. Indeed, when phenyldiazomethane was tested under the same reaction conditions, the corresponding azuridines were formed with excellent yield and cis selectively. In addition, decreasing the amount of cyclophane 1 to only 1 more percent successfully furnished the azuridines in an even higher yield and similar stereoselectivity. Therefore, azirination of amine with phenyldiazomethane was selected as our model reaction. In order to understand the nature of activation, we carried out some experiments to study the effect of additives on the cyclophane. One of the control reactions was to introduce the naphthalene-based compound 3, which was used as a template in the cyclization step in the synthesis of cyclophane 1. Therefore, the strong binding between the two components, compound 1 and 3, would render the electron deficient cavity of cyclophane 1 largely preoccupied. As a result, the activity of the cyclophane 1 was indeed found to decrease in the presence of compound 3, but it was not to a si significant extent as expected. The persistence of activity of cyclophane 1 in this computation reactions led us to question whether the cavity of cyclophane 1 is necessary or not to induce the reaction. As a direct means to answer this question, we synthesized a series of acyclic biologins and pyridinium salts that are structurally related to cyclophane 1. These compounds were then tested under the standard reaction conditions, and the results are shown in Figure 2. The top graph shows the reaction profiles obtained from compounds that are actually substructures of cyclophane 1, and the bottom graph has the results from biologins and pyridiniums bearing different or additional substituents. 
based on these results, a trend regarding the catalyst efficiency was found that the reaction rates paralleled the reduction potentials of these biologins and pyridiniums. In other words, the more electrophilic the biologin or pyridinium, the higher efficiency of the reaction. This was further supported by the fact that compound 5D, which is a highly electron deficient biologin bearing four strong electron withdrawing natural groups, was found to be extremely efficient in catalyzing the reaction. In that case, the model reaction could reach 100% conversion within less than five minutes in the presence of only 1% of compound 5D. As a means to further explore the reaction mechanism as well as to study the reaction scope, a set of imine substrates bearing various substituents were applied in the reaction. It was found that not only electron-rich substrates but also electron-deficient imines could undergo azeronation in the presence of 2 to 10 more percent of compound 5C, which is a diphenyl biologin that was found to be as efficient as cyclophen 1 in our catalyst screen study. Furthermore, an aerial substituent conjugated to imine CN double bond was found to be not necessary. These results actually provided a first example of utilizing biologins, which is a new type of ionic organic catalyst in synthetic organic chemistry. At the current stage of this ongoing project of using biologins as catalysts in organic synthesis, we may summarize the results I have just talked about as the following several points. First of all, a series of biologins and pyridiniums were found to be able to promote the formation of azeridines in high yields and selectivities by reacting imines with phenyldiazomethane. And based on the experiments including the catalyst and imine screen and the stereochemistry of this azeronation reaction, we can see that the results are consistent with Lewis acid catalyzed reactions with the same substrates. This led us to envision that by using chiral biologins or pyridiniums, this reaction may be rendered a novel method of asymmetric azeridine synthesis. As the reaction mechanism is concerned, although the possibility of proton catalysis has not been completely ruled out, reasonable evidence in support of Lewis acid catalysis can be found. As a general catalytic route, the biologin may act as a Lewis acid to activate the imine towards nucleophilic attack by phenyldiazomethane. A subsequent ring closing step would furnish the azeridine three member ring system and return the biologin to the catalytic cycle. Currently, our group further studies are still going on to utilize biologins as catalysts in some other types of organic transformations. And more importantly, part of our focus is to provide a more detailed explanation for the reaction mechanism in order to develop more elegantly designed biologin-based ionic organocatalysts.